And so the tale begins. Girl meets boy, and they connect while watching a movie in sunny Florida. Some would call this fate, as Connie never went to Florida for spring training until a coworker was unable to fulfill this commitment. Connie was next in line, and there she met her other half. Just to say I love you. I truly feel like I've known Connie and Ryan my entire life. Over time, I've appreciated just how exceptional they are. Connie has been a blessing to me. I will always be grateful. Brian, you are truly one lucky guy. Beginning on this day, I wish you endless love and happiness together. Cheers to happily ever hokey. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Sean. I'm Brian's younger brother. Brian, growing up with him, was um, a great experience for me because I always had someone I was trying to follow, someone I was always trying to look up to. This is why I think you're the best man. Uh, one of the best and worst things that ever happened to us uh, as far as our free time in Slotsburg was when that uh, the baseball field opened across the, across the street from us. Um, because the number of times I've taken a very misplaced curveball into the shin uh, when he's someone here is trying to learn how to throw one. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, right. But in all seriousness, though, he's actually always been there for me as the one to look up to and the one that was my protector when I was the, when I was the younger brother. And he always did a great job at that. I don't know if he realizes how much he did of that and how much I appreciate it. Honey, it seems like it was only yesterday, you know, you were still living at home in Tatami, and you know, I don't know where the time went, but, you know, after you graduated from high school, after you graduated from Rutgers, after you worked for the Yankees, after you moved into the Big Apple, I look back and I realized how fortunate I was to have many of the things that I did. One of them was having you to grow up with. You know, I, w I, didn't, I don't just consider you a sister, I considered you a friend, a role model, and someone to look up to. You know, you definitely taught me about what it is to be a respectful, thoughtful, loving person. And when I pictured the man you would eventually marry, Brian, you know, I knew you would have to marry someone with the same amazing qualities that I see in you each and every day. You know, I knew it had to be someone who was just as thoughtful, loyal, loving, accepting as you are. As it is with love, it can arrive at unexpected times, when you're least looking for it, and whether you think you're ready for it or not. And when love found Brian and Connie, it was no different. Connie and Brian first met in the press box at the original Yankee Stadium on opening day 2007. Through it all, they continued to invest in each other and a shared future. Brian says, no matter where the road trip of life takes us, as long as Connie's by my side, I know that everything will be okay. There are countless ways in which Dad and I are blessed and so proud of you, the woman you've grown to be. You're kind and generous and accomplished in so many ways. But nothing pleases us more or touches us more deeply than um, your love for family and the traditions we pass down both through the Schwabs and the climbers. Um, you, you have a very tender, sentimental heart, which I think is a, a really special gift. And it, we're really grateful that Brian not only recognizes and appreciates that gift, but embraces it as well. Um, Brian, we really can't thank you enough for being such a kind and caring partner for our daughter. Connie, Connie, where do I start with you? No, but the day you were born, remember? Remember that day, me and you cried like babies all day. And, and since that day, I shed a lot of tears, good tears, I like good tears, you know that. Tears of joy, countless tears of laughter, but my favorite is the tears of pride when I look at you and I see the beautiful woman you become. Now folks, this is Connie and Brian's day, but I tell you, for the last year, all they've done was plan this to make this as nice a day for you, their guests. So please take the night and enjoy everything they've done. Got an unbelievable band. So dance, drink, have a good time. And to you guys, salute. I take you, Connie. To be my wife. To be my wife. My 
my partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I take you, Brian, to be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will trust you. And respect you. And respect you. Laugh with you. Laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. Loving you faithfully. Through good times. Through good times and bad. I promise that I now see. I promise that I now see. My family is yours. My family is yours. Your family is mine. Your family is mine. I look forward to loving. And look forward to loving the family we create. The family we create. I promise to always be your biggest fan. Your biggest fan. I will cherish our friendship and our love. And our love today, to tomorrow. today <laughs> tomorrow, and forever. I will cherish our friendship and our love and our love today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and forever, and forever. Um, when I see the happiness that you guys give each other, it shows that you definitely have a long, happy life ahead of you guys, and I'm excited to see where this journey will lead you. And Connie, in all honesty, I don't know if I ever really told you or shown you how much I love you, but I'm truly honored to have been able to stand by your side throughout this entire experience, and to now be able to stand by you and Brian for the rest of our lives. So, Brian, Connie, congratulations, and I love you guys. All that remains is for you to seal your vows with a kiss as I announce that by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, that you are now husband and wife. Brian, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Great Scott, you've just experienced the most unbelievable wedding. We've got the DeLorean, we've got Connie, we've got Brian, and we've got Matt J. Fox here. It's unbelievable, 1.21 gigawatts. They're never gonna be the same because they went back to the future. It was easy to see why Brian wanted to spend the rest of his life with Connie. She's smart, beautiful, funny, and unlike most of us, she seems to genuinely enjoy Brian's company. Why Connie wanted to marry Brian, however, was a bit of a mystery. So I started to dig deep to try to figure it out. He's bald, so she'll never have to worry about him using up the last part of the shampoo. Yeah, I'd like an extension, maybe. That couldn't be it. He does a killer John Sterling impression. But I'm pretty sure Connie can get the real John on the phone anytime she wants. So that couldn't be a huge selling point. He does have great taste in food. We know that. But Connie's one of the biggest foodies I know. Anybody who's friends with her on Facebook knows what I'm talking about. So she needs no help in finding the perfect place for any occasion. So what was it that drew Connie to this place, becoming the Mrs. Brian Hoke? After hours and hours of soul searching, it finally came to me. He's out of town 140 days a year. <laughs> what could be better than that? I'll try my best to model. Don't get me. Brian, growing up with him, was. Um, a great experience for me because I always had someone I was trying to follow, someone I was always trying to look up to. Um, he, now that's not to say he and I didn't have the uh, the standard spats back and forth as you'd expect from people. Whether it was him throwing me out of a window one time, or uh, or uh, there's a whole story behind that. It doesn't sound as bad as, it, as you make it sound. Oh, yeah, guy would have done a clip on. Oh wait. Now we gotta go yeah. a little looser, maybe. Connie and Brian agreed to marathon their favorite classic 80s movie, Back to the Future. And that first date did not disappoint. At the end of the night, Brian sent Connie a text with an adapted line from the movie.
Connie Schwab, you're my density. <laughs> When Brian proposed to Connie this past Valentine's Day, I would imagine nobody was happier than Connie. A close second, however, had to be Brian's friends on the Yankees beat, who no longer had to listen to Joe Girardi harass Brian about, when are you going to get engaged? Seriously, Joe would pester Brian about it nonstop. You do it yet, Hokey? You do it? You know where there are some great spots in Chicago where you could get engaged? One, two, three, four! Allow me to be serious for just a moment, not typically my strength with this crowd. Uh, I have not met many couples more perfectly suited for each other than Brian and Connie. They have more fun together than anybody I know. They have a mutual love and respect for each other and what's important to each of them. After all, how else could you possibly explain Connie's compassion when Brian tore his Achilles in the New York-Boston media game a mere 10 weeks ago with the wedding coming up? Before I wrap up, I actually have a special message for the two of you from Yep, you guessed it, Joe Girardi. Hokey, no more injuries. You actually have a responsibility now. Congrats, and I must say, you have to be a magician because somehow you pulled this one over on Connie. One more time for